an equally important treatment involves undergoing individual behavioral therapy, particularly CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. So what is CBT? CBT is aimed, aimed at changing a person's current way of non-productive thinking and behavior, a change that is often transformative and it produces improvement in both outlook and mood. And it is typically provided by a psychologist with special training in this particular methodology and is backed by evidence of its effectiveness in children and adolescents, particularly for anxiety and depressive disorders. And it generally involves eight to 12 sessions that's divided into exploring the person's cognitive thoughts and behavior. And the, the individual is first made aware of his distorted or her distorted thinking, and then taught that the behaviors are, are there to help alleviate them. And Sam's distorted thoughts in particular included believing that he was always being scrutinized or being looked at and was a center of attention when he entered a social situation. He believed that the other individuals in the social situation were always judging him negatively. And then when Sam went to CBT, they, the therapist specifically asked, what is the evidence you have to support these automatic thoughts? And, and what he learned was that these cognitive distortions he was having was called catastrophizing. His also therapy sessions included learning about graded desensitization, which meant he would gradually go and which involved him going to different social situations with increasing anxiety potential. He initially went to a coffee shop by himself and then rated his anxiety. Several days later, he went to a small party where he knew everyone and then again rated his anxiety. After several weeks, he attended a large social gathering where he knew absolutely no one and again rated his anxiety. And the goal of this behavioral therapy was to expose Sam in a stepwise progression to gradually more unfamiliar and larger settings to decrease his anxiety symptoms. And so Sam underwent CBT, was started on sertraline or Zoloft with the addition of clonazepam to be used as needed if he experienced a panic attack. He also was given Inderol to be used before performing situations, such as giving a presentation or taking a test. He initially found the sertraline to be sedating, but after several weeks experienced no side effects from the medications. He, didn't, he did not like alcohol, so it's easy for him not to have to worry about drinking while on the medications. And he found the combination of the medication, the combination of the medication and cognitive behavioral therapy particularly effective for his test-taking anxiety, doing oral presentations and standardized examinations. And since Sam was dyslexic, his test taking was exacerbated at such, and during these times, he especially found it quite helpful to practice mindfulness based on ancient, ancient Buddhist concept, which was very helpful in diminishing his anxiety. And what is mindfulness? Mindfulness is, 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 can be promoted by meditation, but it, it's important to know it's not synonymous with meditation. And it's a, mindfulness is achieved is achieved through a variety of activities, including but not limited to yoga, tai chi, and meditation. And all of them have the common goal of trying to bring mental processes under greater personal control through attention and awareness. And the hope for an often observed result is a sense of calm, sense of clarity and a sense of focus. And this is not only anecdotal, there is clinical evidence that mindful, mindfulness decreases anxiety and increases a sense of uh, possi uh, positivity. And the principles of mindset can ameliorate anxiety as well. And in, as discussed in Carol Dweck's insightful book, Mindset, The New Psychology of Success, my, mindset refers to your attitude about yourself, your abilities, and your future. And the growth mindset championed by Dweck is based on the belief that change 
can be brought about by the individual, which is welcome news to the dyslexics. And if you harbor the belief that change is possible and that effort translates into positive change, then if you work on improving a quality or characteristic, your effort will eventually pay off. And if you think of dys successful dyslexic writers, athletes, doctors, scientists, attorneys, public servants, and those in the entertainment noted earlier who struggled when younger and who through continuing efforts are now at the very top of their respective fields. And Dweck reminds us that when NASA was asking for applications for astronauts, they rejected people with pure histories of success and instead selected people who had significant failures and then bounced back from them. And this dyslexic all are all too familiar with failure, have developed, have developed a, this sense of growth mindset and have succeeded. And while anxiety and dyslexia were part of Sam, he made sure they never defined him. He was able to graduate from one of the top medical schools in the country and is now a board phys certified physician doing what he loves to do.